Coming up on today's Nightly News. Greek austerity protests over 13.5 billion euro cuts. Now, the European Union wants 20% VAT on new houses. Cameron and Merkel hold warm and friendly EU budget talks. In our legislation section, conservation and sustainable exploitation of fisheries resources. And in your letters, Andrew Borman writes, EU fundamentals or fudgery. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news. Greek austerity protests over 13.5 billion euro cuts. Greek MPs approved deep cuts in the country's latest round of austerity measures, deemed essential to the country's European Union membership. But riots raged on the streets of Athens as the package passed by just three votes. There has been little mainstream media attention given to the plight of the Greek people, but a quick search on YouTube reveals that the Greeks are not happy with these arrangements. Around 80,000 people gathered in angry protest outside the Greek parliament, with water cannons and petrol bombs being used. You should read the full story, it's a real eye-opener. The links are in the description below. Now the EU wants 20% VAT on new houses. An EU plan to slap VAT on new homes will send prices soaring, experts warned yesterday. Brussels has quietly issued a consultation document that proposes scrapping the current zero VAT rating. The move to change to the full 20% is part of a plan to standardise tax rates across Europe. It would drive up the average price of a new home in Britain by £48,000, from £238,000 to £286,000. Now this will be a real hot potato for most homeowners and anyone thinking of buying a property. You can read the full story on the front page of our website, theunit.com. Cameron and Merkel hold warm and friendly EU budget talks, BBC Politics Online reports. David Cameron and German Chancellor Angela Merkel have held open, warm and friendly talks about the controversial EU budget. Downing Street says, at the end of the hour-long meeting, both parties were at the same end of the spectrum. Mr Cameron said the EU budget should be frozen or cut, but Mrs Merkel says an increase is necessary. At the same end of what spectrum is it, where their apparent views are completely the same and totally different? That's like saying, one fine day, in the middle of the night, two dead men got up to fight. Who in Downing Street writes this stuff? In our legislation section we have a report, Conservation and Sustainable Exploitation of Fisheries Resources. Ian Hudderton, author of the report, states that the common fisheries policy has a poor reputation. However, one area has been successful, the 12 mile zone. This report proposes that autonomy be given back to member states over conservation practices within their 12 mile area. Hugh Fernley Whittingstall would agree the common fisheries policy has been a disaster, particularly for conservation of stocks and species. So what this legislation proposes is to give back control to the individual nations. So that's back to how it used to be before the EU got involved then. In your letters section, Andrew Borman writes, EU fundamentals or fudgery. As Spain shows lower GDP figures than expected, Portugal, Italy, Ireland and the big one, France, line up on the slippery slope behind her. When the load finally triumphs, the ECB and Eurozone participants will disappear. The question that we, as an observer, need to answer is what are we doing today to avoid the consequences? Well, thanks for your letter, Andrew, and those are good questions. Now I shall be talking to Dr Eric Edmund, formerly of the Bank of England, on the next episode of Eurocon, The Truth, and I shall put these questions to him and get some feedback. You can read Andrew's letter in full on our website, and I've included a link in the description below.
That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is The E Unit. And do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis, for the Unit Nightly News, I'll see you soon. <laughs>